This is my 1968 C10 Super Sport. I mean, super short. This short box isn't your typical length, with major modifications like a custom chassis that I built from scratch, it allowed me to choose my wheelbase and tailor it to perform better than its original predecessor. In my last video, I received a lot of comments from people that wanted me to leave the truck in bare steel, and while I do agree that it looks really cool and unique, I think if I can pull off a paint job like my very first truck, it would send this build into a whole different category of quality and craftsmanship. So, to get that show quality finish, the metalwork has to get done. Today we're going to fix up an old hood that most people would have scrapped. For me, unfortunately, it's not in the budget, so we're going to fix it up. Hopefully I can show you a few little tricks, and maybe you can do it yourself as well. The most important thing to do when you're starting your fabrication is to get all your patterns before you start cutting everything. So right here what I'm doing is laying down some paper over the front face of the hood and I'm going to poke holes for the Chevrolet letters in the exact same location as they originally were. I made sure to put the paper right on the upper edge of the hood so that I can put it on the exact same way when I'm done and drill some new holes. Next up is taking a pattern of the nose of the hood. I'm doing so by using a small piece of aluminum that retains its shape. That's going to allow me to get the correct dimensions and bends for when I transfer it onto a piece of sheet metal that'll replace all this old rust. And using this pattern, I marked where I need to put my bends on this new piece. I plan on bending it by using a body hammer to tap the metal into its new shape. Sometimes it's tricky to bend longer pieces like this one so it could be interesting. After hammering away for quite a bit of time, you can see that the edge looks pretty good but as we move further to the middle of the piece, the bend just kind of turns into a half circle. That's not going to work at all so I'm going to have to go to plan B which is using an actual metal break and I don't actually have that in my shop. So I got a local shop to bend all my new pieces and they look much better. That's what I was hoping to do with the body hammer but it doesn't always work out. But everything doesn't always go to plan. You just have to figure out something else. That's what makes these projects so fun. So with these four pieces, two of them will replace the nose of the hood and the two other ones will replace the underside of the hood. Now I can finally cut this ugly rust out and I made a marking for where I'm going to cut. I don't have to cut the whole front of the hood off. I just have to cut enough to get the holes out and once it's all welded back up, a light skim of body fill will take care of the rest. The front is looking incredible so far, but the underside still needs a lot of work and before I install some new metal, I'm gonna treat the metal that will be covered up with some rust converter and then I'll prime it.
the metal is treated now so I can cover it up. So I'm gonna drill some holes. That's where I'm gonna spot weld the two pieces together. It'll look like it's factory and it'll be super strong. Alright, so I just put the hood back on the truck to make sure everything was still good, and it is. So now what I want to do is put the hood on these blocks and make sure it's straight, because I don't want to weld up the hood and it would be crooked. That wouldn't be good. So by setting it on these blocks, I'm going to make sure that it's laser straight, and then I can weld it up and I won't have to worry anymore. So now really the only thing left to do is fill in these little gaps. I'm gonna make some cardboard patterns, cut them out of sheet metal and weld them on.